such as the reenactment videos of the accident. I've seen two different versions of a reenactment videos from Yodi Slayer's passing. Um, one of them, Captain. one of them was through GTA Five, and one of them was through, um, one of them's through Black Ops Two, and they were, they're ridiculous. Like the nerve of somebody to make something like that, and it's it got me so frustrated the first time I saw that. I wanted to go to their videos, swear them just a bunch at them, and then cuss them out, and then thumbs down the video, and then share it with many people, do a video telling people to, to go thumbs down the video and leave horrible things to say on their cha uh, channel and page and stuff. But I thought about it more, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just, the best thing we can do, and I guess this is some advice um, for you guys, is just let it go. Just let it go and don't reply and don't respond to them. Because they're doing it for shock factor, and if you reply back, all you're going to do is fuel the fire. There's nothing good uh, that can come out of this situation. There's nothing at, at, at one point where you could tell them to not do that, to have them turn around and go, okay, I'm not going to do that. Like These people are bred the way they are, and we're not going to be able to change that. So because of that, I say just let them be, don't focus on them, and, uh, and, and um, ignore it ignore it just plain and simple and um and we're all we'll be better off i mean again the first time i saw it i was in an absolute outrage and um and there's nothing to be said about it you know there's people that um there's a lot of people that, that have a lot of negative things to say and some of them think like i don't even know i don't even want to get into the too deep because it's kind of ridiculous but I mean, it's an unfortunate situation, and it's a tragic situation, and people, people's lives were taken um, way, way, way too early. And I think that's the thing that we should probably focus on uh, more than anything. I mean, people, the OD Slayer was 30. I'm 30. I am 34, for those that wondered. I'm old. Like, I've, I've been a gamer since Nintendo and ColecoVision before Nintendo. Um, what perk do we get here? Not a great gamer, but I've been a gamer. I guess I'll buy that. But, um, I mean, Yodi was 30. My wife's 30. You know what I mean? Like, it hits home. It's crazy to me that the situation is the way it is. So, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I It hits home, and I, I just, to see people be so insensitive, it's ridiculous. But, again, we're not going to be able to change them. So, just ignore them. Don't thumbs down the video if you want. If you actually run across something like that, don't even comment. And, uh, and just ignore it and move on because people... Are absolute idiots. Even even from the from the news report that we saw, I saw a lot of comments from people, just really insensitive comments, talking about the that, the accident as if like basically Yoda Slayer took two people's lives and stuff. And and I I can understand how that could be perceived in the situation to some extent if he was in fact driving and if he was in fact drunk and um, behind the wheel. But, again, we don't know the situation. So that, I think that's the thing that I get most frustrated about is just negligence. People don't know anything, and, uh, and they assume everything. I mean, if you're, if you're 15 years old or whatever and you've never drank a drink in your life and you've never been in a social environment where you might have to drive and you have been drinking at one point in the night and you don't want to but you end up driving anyway if if anybody has been in situations like that you know what i'm talking about and it's not a fun situation i've been there myself um granted i've never tried to outrun a train or anything we don't have trains in, in this area but from the news art article his his area uh in his state is has the third highest deaths um in the u.s for for train accidents so i mean it's 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 not fathomable for me because we don't have train issues like that or I don't have trains near me and there's nothing like that. But if you do um, have that, then then you could probably relate. The fact that I don't lets me know automatically I can't relate. So if you can't relate to the situation, don't comment on it. I mean, don't assume uh, because you think you know everything. You know, I guess that's where I'm at. I feel like people just think they know everything. They know the whole situation and what he did was wrong. And and he's a horrible person. That's the comments that I see, and it's just like Jesus Christ. Like, come on, man. Like, have some respect. For, I, I don't know for sure. 
Ace Slayer was his, I don't know if he was his cousin or his brother. I thought it was his brother. Um, I know he ended up passing away as well. So the family is, the family's cut deep, man. And it doesn't need people uh, to, to, to go around making stupid and sensitive comments um, to make it, you know, that much, that much worse. But regardless, people are going to do that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I can see, again, why some people would have this attitude of, like, if he was driving drunk, then, then um, obviously, the bottom line is he shouldn't have. But, but we don't know the situation, and, like, again, this, the social pressure is, like, maybe somebody else was actually supposed to drive home that night, and then they got sick or w drank way too much. And then midway through, he's like, well, I have to drive tonight. You know, like, then I, I guess I'm going to have to drive, even though I'm not supposed to be. Um, because I know his license was suspended. Um, and he did get a DUI, like, the month before. And I know that it's, it's, it, it was his first time getting... Um, I thought it was, from what I was told, it was his first time getting in trouble for, for anything like that. Um, it's also tough if you are a hard drinker. I mean, he was obviously somebody that, that uh, liked to drink. And whether he not he was addicted, and whether or not um, he had like an actual like big problem drinking, I mean, people don't like to admit those type of things. But and again, I'm not trying to justify any all of his actions are right. You know, I think that's the other thing that that I can take away from this is like I'm not trying to justify his actions. If he in fact was doing X, Y, and Z things, um, and he shouldn't have been, then he was wrong to do so. But I just I keep saying, man, don't assume. If you don't know situations, don't uh, don't comment on them. And I think that's the, the the flaw that I see in a lot of people's stupidity and a lot of people's stupid comments is is things like that. So I don't know. That's just my rant and rave for a second. A second more, since this entire video is now based on me ranting about that situation. I just I'm frustrated about it, you know. And and I haven't got to just vent actually I have got it vented out my wife has heard a lot of it I've talked to her a lot about the whole situation and she knows that I wasn't super close to the guy or anything but she knows that um, she knows that it's just a tough situation to to deal with at least for me and a lot of you guys out there as well so oh gosh oh, I'm dead I totally trapped myself in a corner whoopsie Oh man, this is gonna be impossible to get up. There's gonna be dudes everywhere. Oh no. Get away from me. Oh no. Oh gosh. Get away from me. Ah! Captain. Whoa. Get away from me. Oh, jeez. Wowzers. I gotta go get Jug. Am I gonna be able to live through this? This is gonna be tough. I don't know. Sheesh. This, these rounds go fast, though. What? It's like, what, what, what? <laughs> like, buy the jug already. Um, I've got to run. I like running circles on this side better than the other one for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, shoot. You know what I don't have? Quick. I never bought Quick Revive. Crap. I need to buy Quick back. This is the way of the, the circles that I don't run. I never run. I'm always one of those people. I, I like run method methods, methodologically. <laughs> I run the same circles every single time. Is what I'm trying to say. But I don't like running them backwards. I like to run them forward, the same exact ways every single time. And if I switch it up, then it totally throws me off. And I'm like, where do I go? Maybe it's because I'm in real life. I'm directionally challenged. Like I cannot choose directions at all. Like uh. I'm always getting lost and or if I if I go somewhere and, and use MapQuest or something, I have to do MapQuest 
from that place to get home because I can't remember like certain things. I don't know how to des describe that, but yeah, I have a problem. Definitely. Definitely have a problem with directions. Alright, well at least I didn't die yet. Knock on wood. Here, another guy over there somewhere. Come on, quick. Where are you at? Oh, you fell down here, huh? I didn't think it fell down here. I kind of want to buy another perk. Since I have cash and monies. Perk in here, anybody? Nope. Perk down here, perk over here. Well, alright. Now I just really can't go down. Super duper. Got my big four. Oh, it feels good to be able to reload so quickly. Ping pong. I hear you, little guy. There you go. Guess I should put that one here. Might as well save one more claymore. All right, well we're we're doing this, man. We're get we're getting to round twenty. Um, I hopefully I can continue this whole entire series with live commentaries at the very least. I might try to do some other games in op like lobbies with randoms not necessarily open lobbies just so I can like that one game I played with randoms it was so funny and that little kid if you missed it was a Shangri-La the first one it was ridiculous but um but I had my mic on and we were, we had a couple people and just picked up one random it was so funny though and I I um don't like to do um oh jeez I'm gonna die again Whoa, what was that? That was glitchy. I don't know what that was. That was crazy. Whoa, hey buddies. Get out of my way. Man, there's a lot of you dudes. They just keep on spawning in. Get away from me. I see more of you. Oh jeez, I just got caught on the wall right there. I almost died right there. This game is so laggy. I really hope that Black Ops 2 fixes this sort of lag issue. I don't know if you guys see it or or whatever, but I feel it, the lag from this game so much. It is unbearable sometimes. Woohoo, I made my circle back the right way. Yeah. I don't want to pack my or I don't want to pack a punch my ray gun yet. I'm only around 17. I don't need it packed. Maybe I'll pack this. The lilies, even no, I don't even use it. All I need is my ray gun. What is the other wonder gun here? Or is that it? Okay, I'll take you, Mr. Hammerman. But it's not the last guy. Oh, what are you doing, running all crazy? Well, we're doing it. I, I was afraid I was gonna have to redo this gameplay again and again and again. Um, I have had to redo it a couple times on this map because I failed so miserably. I didn't get jug. So one of them I played to like round 15 and I, didn't, I swear I didn't get jug yet. And uh, it made it really difficult for me. Maybe so you guys don't have a problem, but I can't run circles or do anything without jug anymore. And I used to not get jug when I played multiplayer because honestly my mentality was that I was going to get downed. Um, I remember playing with Yote. I was like, they, they would always say get jug and get jug and stuff. I was like, why? Like, dude, I'm just gonna, I'm literally gonna go down and you're gonna have to pick me up. And I'm like, that's a waste of 2,500. But, but, uh, but now that I think I played with, with him and some other people more, like, it, it makes me definitely realize, like, oh yeah, Jug is, like, uber important. But this is what I love. I love Claymore, so gosh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. That was, as I say that, I, f I fail miserably. I failed so miserably right there. That was all me. That was all me. Nobody to blame on that one. Smooth move. Oh gosh. Oh, this is it. That's game over. I got nothing for you guys. Round 18 is horrible. I can't even... Uh, I don't even know what to say. There's another, there's another bad commentary, bad gameplay that I'm going to upload to YouTube. Add it, add it to the vault. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. We'll catch you guys... <laughs> for for the next gameplay.